what advice you have for aspiring entrepreneurs who want to build legacy through their businesses and create a positive impact on the world? Every developed country has a legacy of the company that we deal with. And this legacy runs on to hundreds of years. One is the way they have nurtured their relationships. Second is the way they have handled their customer base. Third is the way they manage their vendor management system. Fourth, the compliances and the ethical standards that they maintain. Fifth, the governmental norm that they have uh, adhered to without compromising on the government rules, regulations and policies. And of course, today, uh, your concern for the environment around you uh, by the nature of you doing that particular business. Any organization, if they apply all these policies to their functioning, automatically makes them a better, a bigger and a more recognizable brand. For you to leave a legacy behind, like the Tatas, the Birlas, the Ambanis, all these people have today become legacy business. This was not started by them, this was started by their forefathers. And why are they a legacy business? Purely because they did not compromise on their policies. They did not use any unethical means or methods. And they have been loyal and truthful to their entire customer base. Anybody dealing with these kind of organizations will always have a feeling that the value that they paid to get the product or service is much more than the amount they paid to those companies. So the value of the product and services they got is much higher than the money that they paid for getting that product or service. Now this kind of feeling will instill a sense of confidence to a customer and a consumer and generations together become loyalists, uh, become loyal customers to those kind of organizations. Every entrepreneur also needs to do that. In the professional services, there are so many organizations in India where chartered accountants and lawyers and company secretaries have legacy business. It was started by their great grandfathers, then grandfather, father, the current gentleman and his coming up generation also following the same customer base and the same business. Now, entrepreneurs also have now started doing this. Whether it is restaurant chains, whether it is real estate companies, whether there is uh, uh, capital management organizations, all of these are now stock brokers, all of these have become now legacy organizations. The number of legacy organizations need to increase. Now, there is a direct correlation between the number of legacy businesses and the qualification of a country as a developing country or a developed country. The proportion and the percentage in the developed country is much higher compared to a developing country like India. And it is predicted that the next 50 years are going to be the Indian years. And these Indian years are going to be happening by the number of percentage going higher for legacy businesses. When you talk about a legacy business, which means everything about that organization is going right in terms of customer satisfaction, in terms of vendor management, in terms of compliances with the government authorities, in terms of shareholders and stakeholders making plenty of profits because of dealing with the right companies. Now, when all these elements come together, put together, you are actually, in reality, creating a legacy business. So I think uh, this is what entrepreneurs should focus on. A great brand is built on the quantum of sacrifices that they do. A great brand is built when the entrepreneur foregoes short-term profits for a long-term legacy. A great business is built on how you deal with all the human beings associated with your organization. Again, it goes to the same topic. The government officials, the vendors, the shareholders, and the customers, on how do you deal with them will define the next journey of legacy for the organization. And highest percentage of legacy businesses which are happening today is happening in India. After China, now it has started happening in India for the quantum of the population that we have, which is the pride of the nation today and which is the strength of the nation today. And the whole world today is looking at India as a land of opportunities. When your trust factor of organization and entrepreneurs grow up, then the developed country businesses want to collaborate and invest into a growing country like India by partnering and collaborating with these kind of legacy entrepreneurs based out of India. So the legacy is a testimony that all filters are clear for that particular entrepreneur or that particular organization. So there are multiple benefits when you want to create a huge brand. Everybody wants to either deal with you or be your customers or partner with you or invest in you. So this happens by creating a big brand and that's what every entrepreneur should strive for. Thank you, sir.